Hey everyone, I'm Elsie Gamer, and welcome back to Song of Horror. In the last video, we, uh... Explored quite a bit, at, but not enough. I, uh, wasn't feeling very well during that episode last time, so... I am feeling better now. And... Just need to try not to get too scared, jumped, or whatnot. While I'm doing this, uh, I'll take it. Hmm. So, I need to find more of those, I guess? Huh. Hmm... I remember them saying they had one of these things tied off, so... And this cable will probably help me. So I will take it. Alright. Combine this with the handle. And now to go put this on that generator. As long as it stays away from me, I'm happy. Ugh. Listen to it. Good. Mm hmm. I'm gonna stick my hand through there. And that's stupid. For a silent, stealthy character. You sure do make a lot of noise. Here we go. This should get this crappy generator working. Everything outside's done, for now. Now I just gotta go travel the rest of this place. Ooh, this is gonna be fun. At least I feel safe when I'm doing puzzles. Alright, what do we have here? 
Uh, so let's see what I can do here. We have the morgue. We have the lift. And then we have security. Alright. In that case... Um, uh, let's go with security for the time being. Because it looks like I can only select one of these at a time. If I'm going down to the morgue... I'm not gonna be happy. Because the darkness would love that place. Listen. Sounds safe. Shit. Right. Well. Uh, information. Uh, to do. It says. Wait, what did this say again? From highest to lowest, the seven numbers are in the photo. Alright. And the card gives a hint saying we have it's the number of people number of people wearing Black, number of people wearing white, mustaches, glasses, and... Okay, so it's standing, sitting... One, two, three, four, five, six. Alright, so... Eh, this is kind of convoluted, but... We have seven people. Two, three, four, five. Yeah, we have seven people. We have one, two, three, four, five, six people in white. Then we have uh Okay. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have six people in white. Then we have four people standing. Um, I see at least three mustaches. Three people sitting. Two people wearing glasses. Or is there a third one there wearing glasses? I just put another three in, then a one. Hmm. Okay. So I managed to get in. Sound safe. I see some 
boats there. Let's have a look. Ah, Dr. Baroness Prestigard. It's a good start. Today's session with Ariadne was by far the most productive to date. Not because of the conversation we had, for her mind continues to adhere to the usual extravagant patterns, but because today she asked to get her things back, which led me to a surprising discovery. Down in the storage room, I was convinced I would not find any of the belongings taken from her when she was admitted, but there was nothing further from the truth. There was a diary and a music box. After handing the box to Ariadne, I quickly browsed through the diary, which apparently belonged to her father. And that's where it gets interesting. After years of researching paranormal phenomena, Argus Legrand's investigation led him to the Abbey of St. Cecilia, where a cursed concert had supposedly taken place. After spending a considerable amount of money, he got his hands on the only remaining sheet music from the concert and convinced an acclaimed musician to play the music one more time. The new cursed concert would take place on a steamer that would sail down the Rhine a few weeks later, and both Legrand and his assistants would be there to contemplate the true effects of the song. After the concert, the tycoon wrote the following in his diary. Those ignorant, illiterate fools. I can only laugh at their curse and their stupidity. The only misfortune that damn song has brought is a hole in my bank account. Alas, at least I take the melody with me. I will have it recorded and play it each day for my family. Ha! Those drunk, lazy bastards. Their misfortune was caused by their own stupidity and bad blood. Wanting to put the blame on a song is yet another sample of their total lack of culture. Argus Legrand never knew that the steamer suffered a strange accident, just hours after he got off, that killed everyone on board. And yet his thoughts on the melody eventually changed. They did indeed change. I can't okay. I, Daniel wasn't exaggerating. This is much worse than I ever imagined. Mouse, rat, wherever you are, would you shut up? Making it hard to concentrate. Now, I was going to make a comment about, uh... Do we need to give the SCP agency a call and have them take the music box? Or, uh... Control. All right, so that's completely stuck. That's where the padded cells are. Yeah. Continue going this way, we have whatever's here. Yeah, it, leave that room alone. Huh. <laughs> We'll survive. <laughs> All right. What is happening? I don't know. <laughs> I need you to calm down. <laughs> Just calm down. Get walk in circles. Until the cold goes away. I finally feel my fingers again. Thank you. Uh, check this door. Sounds safe. 
blocked. Uh, uh. That's surprising. Ah, uh, yes, um... Yeah, I'm not messing with that. Oh. Place to hide. Typewriter. Violin. Don't have enough stuff to be able to mess with that at the moment. Mm, I wish the background noise would behave. Ah, a little bit of light. It's always helpful. Huge mess. Am I in the art room? This place had a load of nothing for me. Anything there? Uh huh. That's what I thought you said. Sound safe. Chipped trophies decorated with on the shelf. What do we have here? Nice one. Okay, on the back side? No. She blinks. Awoken by hunger. Tis night time. She listens. She takes flight. Swift. Lethal. Silent. You scream as she tears you away from yourself. Satisfied, she lands on her nest and hoots to the wind, announcing her victory. Her firm grip paralyzes you, and blood spills as she fits, as she feasts. She swells and beats her wings, and set and satiated, she sleeps. You're talking about an owl. All right. Anything on this side? Ah! Yeah. Oh. I just gotta get over there to it. You behave. A monstrous creature that had nothing going on when I was busy looking at things. I almost didn't live to see another day. No, especially since I was all the way over here. Alright. At 
least it gave me a fighting chance instead of having me run through the building trying to find a place to hide. You still out there? No, okay. Alright, what do we have here? Not that way. Locked. Oh. Uh, can't get into that right now. Mm -mm. So that's a no go. How about here? Is this one safe? Yeah. Sounds. <laughs> Pretty safe, but that one needs a key. Do you need a key? <laughs> Where the frick did you come from? Oh shit. That was not a good idea. I should have gone myself. I... Ah, oh, damn it, Daniel. Don't be such a crybaby. Okay. So... I listened to the door. I didn't hear anything. And this is the second time this has happened. Where... I listen to a door. I hear nothing. Open it. And get... Eaten by... The horror. I'm running out of time. I have to find Lydia, and the answers I'm looking for, quick. Well, you're not gonna find Lydia. Afraid not. Lydia. What mess have you gotten yourself into? I don't know. I really don't know. Listen. Okay, so something is in there. It's probably Lydia, but... I wasn't even looking at it, though. Huh? <gasps> Daniel, you need to calm down. <sighs> Just calm down.
Let me go change something. Here. And I've... I have to... I may let Daniel die so I can restart this section and get back to where I was and try and keep Lydia alive. Morgue. Left. I have the lift on at the moment. Maybe that's something I, I need. Sounds safe. Okay, I did try that door earlier, I know that. I don't have anything to use on that at the moment. Are you? This is gonna be a fun beast of a room. I saw that. You're trying to mess with me. That's because the curtain's in the way. I can't get to the other side of the room. Stumped at the moment. Because I can't go any farther and where I need to go. I don't get it. Just gotta figure out where I'm going now. Cause there's too many things to mess with, and not enough things to actually deal with what I'm dealing with. I guess I gotta go take a look at the, uh, music room.
Yeah, I'm not sure if Daniel's gonna survive this round. Because there's not enough clues here. I'm freezing to death. No, you're going to turn into a popsicle. I know this. I'm already having a hard time moving. The opening reaches the other side of the wall, but it's covered. I wonder if they did that on purpose. Yeah, probably. Information. Um, excuse me? It says I have information. doesn't like the light, but it likes the song. Is there a light switch over here? Alright, I know what I gotta do. Over here. Take this down. Interesting. Okay. Well, uh... Cool, I got a tiny key. And... Light, but it likes that damn song, right? Yeah. And the clue there was everything in shadow.
<laughs> uh, I know it doesn't open a door. No. Well, where is this supposed to go then? I can always check. Daniel. Ooh. There's text there. This looks interesting. I got a bad feeling about this, but oh well. I'm going to leave it here for now, and I'll see you guys next time when we continue this in the next video. So until then, see you guys.